Hey again, it's Eric Zubik with another episode of Legends of the Hidden Temple, The Lost Temple Guards. Now, if you're just joining us, we're in the middle of our Season 1 run block. And we covered uh, Legends like Alexander and the Gordian Knot on Monday. Golden Chain Zenobia on Tuesday. And yes, and Wednesday, we actually did the Golden Jaguar of Atahualpa. Now, we're ready for run number 4 out of 5. It is the Lucky Pot Belly Pig of Amelia Earhart. Oh yeah, the longest run, which was probably close to being a successful run on, on the uh, entire series. He's, well, there's only one lost guard, of course, since the la second temple guard popped out with three seconds left on the clock. And yeah, that's basically what you just need to know. Oh, so let's get this run underway. Let's get started. I'm gonna get in the position right now. Let's put three minutes on the clock. All right, let's go right into the temple. Which way is she gonna go? Oh, she's going up into the room of the three gargoyles. But wait a minute, she finds a temple guard there. Wow, I didn't see that one coming. Pushing on the right tongues. And she's into the wall climb right now. Out now, which door is going to open? And it'd be the next path. By the way, there's nothing in the cave of size since the room of the three gargoyles had something in it. The bottom door does not open. Oh my god, she doesn't even try the middle door. And she doesn't try the middle door. I mean... And really? <laughs> Alright, so the top door opened for some odd reason. As they now make their way through the observatory. She's got to spin the sundial. Of course she does. Anyway... Okay, we got the treasure room next. Either open the treasure chest and go down, or there, or it's into, oh yeah, looks like it's the other option. Into the shrine of the silver monkey. Of course, who knows, got to put that monkey together. Every true fan knows that. And that's to the young guns out there that are watching this video. Oh, the base first, middle. A lot of people have trouble with this, honestly. Now it is basically time to get that head on. Uh, it ain't on right. All right, all right. There we go. Thank, thank goodness, somebody's uh, he's on it. All right, into the pirates' cove we go. Oh, you gotta turn the ship's wheel in order to descend into the dungeon. And down to the dungeon she goes. I wonder if it's possible to skip the ladder and just fall right in there. Because considering the fact that there is a, an airbag down there. Air as most people will never realize. Anyway. Plow through the stone wall now. And. Alright. Now she got to find the key that unlocks the tomb of the ancient king. Alrighty. Now into the treacherous swamp. But wait a minute. Oh. That's no bog monster. That's another temple guard. Yeah. Part of me really thought a temple guard was going to be a bog monster for a minute. Anyway. Anyway, we're on to the last uh, Temple Guard. Alright, now, there's only one Lost Guard, as I've said in the beginning. There's one of two rooms, actually, but they're both in the center shaft. One is the artifact, the other would probably be the last guard. I think the other guard was in the heart room, though. But yeah, I don't need to look anything up. It's probably the heart room, because, because mentally, you know they were in every single room, except for two. 
the room with the artifact, and the room with the last guard. And of course, while well, the Cave of Sighs was actually out of play anyway. But yeah, the other guard was the lost guard was actually in the heart room. Um, I've been Eric Zubik signing off for the next to last run of the season one block. We have another video coming up. It's probably better than this, so tune in next time.